Many of you may know that I live in Suffolk, in the east of the UK. And uh, some of you may also know that I've been doing a lot of wood carving recently and really trying to uh, test myself and challenge myself in order to try and get better as quickly as I can. I'm going to attempt to carve the Suffolk coat of arms uh, out of some lime wood or basswood that I got from a wood offcut shop as a present for my dad for Christmas. So uh, it'll be a mostly quiet video as I'll be concentrating a lot. <laughs> but, uh, I hope you enjoy it. So I did a little bit of research and I found a way to keep a fragile carving kind of stuck down to a board and have it so you can peel it off a bit easier than if you were just going to glue it straight down. And they call it the sandwich method and I'll show you what it is. So what I did was I got my wooden board and I got some watercolour paper, any kind of thick paper will do so they say. I got some PVA glue and I mixed two thirds PVA glue with one third water and I pasted the paper down to the wood and then I used the same mixture to glue the carving down to the piece of paper and this makes it so you can scrape it off easily when you're done so you can remove this from the board fairly easily but then you've got a bit of paper to deal with scraping off the back that's the downside to it but it's better than sticking it straight down and it gives you a really really strong hold
Now I realise at the moment this looks uh, <laughs> pretty damn awful. Uh, but one of the other things that they mentioned on a few of the things I saw about this kind of hold down method is that you could use some mineral spirits or some white spirits to help you peel off the back and then just uh, sand it or chisel it or whatever to get it all off. So I'm going to try that now. managed to get most of the stuff off the back so the next thing I'm going to do is just take a couple of knives and clean up all the little the little bits that are all sticking up in there and then we can get some finish on it and it'll be done Well, thanks a lot for watching that video. Uh, the whole process probably took around between 30 and 40 hours, I would say. I kind of lost count, but that's probably what it was. And uh, I had a lot of fun making it, although there were lots of frustrating parts. A bit did actually break off uh, right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a bit right there that's broken off. But <clears throat> all in all, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with it, considering it's the first one I've tried. Uh, this complicated kind of baroque, I think baroque, kind of leaf pattern on the outside, and uh, yeah, I'm 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 not I'm not upset with it. <laughs> but as always, when you make something, you can always see the stuff that's wrong with it. But uh, yeah, hopefully my dad likes it. Uh, it's the coat of arms of Suffolk, which is the county I live in in the east of England. Uh, it says it says guide our endeavours down the bottom. And uh, it has the crowns on there to represent Bury St Edmunds, which is the, one of the big towns in Suffolk. Uh, the sun rising, because uh, Suffolk is the most easterly county in the UK. And then the Viking longboat on the top to represent the Vikings <laughs> coming over to the UK. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I kind of like the whole meaning of it. And I'm going to gift it to my dad and... Then we'll put it up on the wall and I'll take some more pictures. I streamed the whole process live on Twitch from cutting the boards to gluing them together, cutting the whole piece out and doing all of the carving. Uh, I stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday on Twitch at 3pm GMT. I make all kinds of things, including this little box that I made recently. And also I do some carving on Saturdays sometimes. So if you'd like to come over there, it's twitch.tv forward slash timberandnew. I'd love to have you there. It'd be awesome to chat to people live and uh, you can come and see what I'm up to. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you again next time.